I was a kid, I, uh, I looked up in the sky, I think like, like every kid in the world, you looked up in the sky and I was wondering, what is, what is out there? What is this? And then, of course, the closest thing that you could look at, uh, which it was not only like a little dot in the sky, is the moon, right? And you, you see those uh, surface features and I've asked myself, what is that? And how amazing is, would it be to stand there? So this is Luna. How special is this? Yeah, we're actually in a very special facility. This is unique in the world. We have right here, we have a lot of regolith, that's just moon dust with exactly the same grain sizes that we will find on the moon, moon rocks. Uh, we have subsurface features that we can look for. We have a lighting system that once we switch on, this will be a very bright light from the front. Um, so it's, it's actually really difficult to navigate there, but it's like it will be on the real moon uh, where you have a, a sun that blinds you and very deep black shadows so uh, if we were standing here and that system would be switched on, we would not see anything in here. Even though the sun would be shining, this would be pitch black. We wouldn't know, is there a, a, a one meter hole, or a 20 meter hole? How you describe it, it actually sounds really scary. Uh, the moon is scary. Uh, it's, it's, it's a very hostile place, you know, it's a vacuum, it's far away from Earth, you get bombarded by radiation uh, at the, on the dark side, uh, outside of the sun, you have temperatures way below minus 100 degrees. On the sun, on the, on the sunlit side, you have temperatures way above the boiling point, so you need a spacesuit that works all the time. If not, you're dead. If you uh, fall into a 20 meter hole, you're dead. So it's a, it's a risky place. To, uh, to do the science. Make sharp turns. But are you one of the people who can go to the moon? So Artemis is a big international program. We Europeans are right in the middle of it. It's great. Uh, so the, the spaceship that goes to the moon, the Orion spaceship, is half built in Europe. That's pretty amazing. Uh, for the gateway, which is going to be the next space station circling the moon as, a, as a, an intermediate place where we can get ready to get down to the surface, that space station will have uh, several modules from Europe and we're planning to contribute a lander that can land in a, in a surface like this on the real moon and transport experiments and cargo to the, to the surface. And with that also, of course, there will be European astronauts uh, involved in those uh, missions. They so will go to the gateway and eventually also to the surface of the moon. Oh, geez, that's great. Is the lighting halfway decent? Yes, indeed. They've got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes on the lunar surface. The Why do we want to go to the moon? So the moon is pretty much uh, a twin of Mother Earth. Uh, we don't quite know how it came to existence yet, but very likely through a big cosmic collision that knocked out part of the Earth and, and, f and created the moon, which means that the moon is actually quite an, an interesting history book out of which we can r read our own past. Who are we? Where, where do we come from? How did life start? Uh, we don't know yet. Um, we might learn that when we go to the moon. Another big uh, reason to go to the moon is to protect Earth. So um, here in Europe, we have several big meteorite impact craters. There's one right in South Germany, 15 kilometers large. You can imagine uh, what happened when that thing crashed into, into Europe. Uh, that will happen again, but we don't know how likely it is. We don't know enough about the risk of meteorite impacts. Mm -hmm. When we go to the moon, we will have lots of meteorite impact craters. Mm -hmm. uh, we can understand how many meteorites will also come in the future. And they will not only come for the moon, but they will also come for Earth. <laughs> About your family? Do you have a family? Well, I, my family by now got uh, used to me uh, uh, working. <laughs> yes, so well, before I went into space, I worked on volcanoes, active volcanoes. Actually, that's more uh, dangerous, so they're actually quite happy that I <laughs> now do a, a less dangerous thing. For some things that are really, really important, it's worth to take a risk.